Hey there everyone, Braden here for gshelper.com and welcome to part 2 in the new table function series. Uh, last time we looked at the table merge values function which enabled us to merge different columns and rows to, in the previous video, come up with a word. Uh, we pretty much merged different letters to come up with this string. Um, and so if you haven't seen part one, I would recommend going and watching it. I'll put a link for part one in the description below. Uh, today in part two, we're going to be looking at the new table search function. This is a really powerful function. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and show you this demo I created uh, last year. And this demo uses the, the loop behavior to pretty much search a column for a value. Um, so let me just go ahead and restart it. Uh, in this in this tutorial here, um, what this does is the loop behavior will loop over uh, each r a row in a table until it finds the correct uh, value, and then it'll stop and give us that uh, row number. So, for example, if I type in the word mop and I click check word, you can actually see the rows uh, kind of rolling up until it gets to row ten which it says match found. Uh, so if we go into the answer table, uh, row 10, you'll see here it says mop. Uh, and it works for any word as long as it's already been uh, added into the table. Uh, so for bit, uh, it'll, found, it'll find it in row 18. Uh, but if we put in some word that's not in the table, it'll still search through the table until it gets to row 60 and then he will say so, uh, failed to find any words so uh, you can see that it actually does take time to check um, check those rows and so it can be it can, it can be pretty complicated if you wanted to for example check a dictionary in a table if you wanted to see if a, a, a word that the user entered was a real word uh, it would take a really long time uh, but this can be an effective way to find other information uh, through a table uh, but now that we have the table search function, uh, it's, it's so much quicker. You can find pretty much the key that you're looking for almost instantly. Um, and it's pretty easy to set up. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here I am in the search actor. It's the second actor. I have three display text behaviors in here. I'll turn the first one off as that one only served to show which actor did what in the preview. So you'll see we have two display text behaviors here with the table search function inside. Let's look at the first table search function here. And again, like last video, I'll kind of explain how the table search function works, show you the completed expression, and then we'll build it together so you can see how to uh, incorporate it into your games. So this expression is searching the game.search table and it's searching for the key game. We're searching a column and we're searching column one but we're searching through rows one and three and this little bit at the end contains that means it's looking for a word that contains the key. So let me just go ahead and open the search table and show you what's kind of inside. You'll notice that we have three columns and four rows. Um, Here's the word that it's going to find, and it's going to uh, write back to us and say that it's in row 2 of column 1. You'll see the word is game salad, and the word that it was looking for was game, and game salad contains that word. And so it would send us the value of 2, indicating that the, the key that we were searching for is in row 2. And I believe I showed you guys last time, and let me just show you guys again. Uh, we have three numbers here, the number 1, the number 1, and the number 3. Um, and it can be kind of hard to understand, but I'll just kind of show you here. We're searching through column 1, but we have to indicate which rows in that column we want to search. Um, and this can come in handy if, for example, you are, and I'll give the example here, um, if you are let's say you have three three five letter words in row one each letter is in its own column so that would mean 
uh, for five letter words and there's three of them that means that there would be 15 uh, columns in row one if we wanted to merge like we did last time uh, the second word in row one which would be rows uh, or columns I'm sorry six through uh, eleven then we would we would have to indicate that which is very nice uh, if we only have the option to merge an entire row or an entire column that would be nice but it would put restrictions on us so that's that's why we do that and hopefully you guys understand that I think I explained it a little bit better in the previous video so if you're following along um, then you understand what I'm saying here so we have the ability to uh, find the key that contains or uh, finds the exact match of the key so let me just go ahead and show you how to build this I'm gonna drag the display text behavior into the logic stack and we'll go ahead and turn this display text behavior off alright let's open the expression editor and insert the table search function this is the uh, function that is initially put into the expression editor and I know it looks like a lot so don't freak out uh, we'll break it down so just like all the other table functions for the table bit we're going to replace that with the actual table that we want to search in this example it's the game dot table search uh, I'm sorry the search table and the key this bit is what you're searching for so I think we had the word food in that example in that table so we'll put quotes F O O D and the quotes are important um, if you don't put the quotes around it it won't recognize it and uh, you'll get a, a value of zero back which means that there was no match found in the table now I believe I said it last time but I'll say it again um, for example the table column number or I'm sorry the table column count we'll use that in this example uh, that gave us a number of columns in a table but then if we wanted to know the amount of rows in a table we had to use the table row count so there's two different functions that give us you know that pretty much kind of do the same thing we're just switching from column to row uh, what's nice about these new functions is you can change it um, inside the expression and you don't actually have to have two different table search functions uh, so we can change from row to column uh, for this example, we're searching column one, so we need to uh, remove everything except the word call for column. Now target row column. This is the column we're going to be searching. So this is in column one. The start range, again, this is, if we're searching a column, the start range is going to be row, and the end range is going to be row. If we're searching a row, then the start range would be a column, and the end range would be a column. So since we're searching column, the start range would be a row. So we're uh, starting in row 1 at the beginning of the table, and we're ending in row 4, which is pretty much how many rows are in that table. Uh, but for good practice, I always uh, tend to do this. So we'll add table row count. That way I don't have to worry about plugging in the new numbers if I decide to add a row or remove a row later on uh, in your game. Okay, and then we have this last bit which contains the word not, exact, begins with, ends with, and contains. So those are pretty much the different ways you can search for a key. Uh, for this example, we want to find the exact match of the word food. And so we're going to delete everything except the word, uh, well, I'm going to delete everything and just type in the word exact. Uh, you do have to keep the quotes, so keep that in mind. So let's go ahead and enter that expression, and I'm going to give it an offset of plus 70, and give, give it a quick color, and let's go ahead and see if it returns a value of 1. Yeah, so it's, it's returning a value of 1, which means that it found the word food in row 1 of column 1. Um, so that's really cool. It's very powerful. It's almost instant. So, for example, if we didn't want to find a word we can find a number uh, which is what this second display text behavior does you'll see that in the key part of this expression we have the number five so you can search for numbers as well you don't just have to search for letters you can search for numbers you can search for booleans like the first true value uh, or the, tr the first uh, false value in a table so that's really cool as well but let me just go ahead and show you how to search for a number 
I'll keep that display text behavior turned off and I'll drag a new display text behavior into the logic stack. I'll just drag it down here. I'll open the expression editor and we're going to insert the table search function. Again, for table, we're going to do table search. For the key, uh, let's do the number 5, just like the one above. And we are going to search a column again, so remove everything except call. And target row or column, this is going to be, uh, we're going to search column 2. Start range is going to be row 1, end range is going to be table row count, and for the table we're going to put search. And then we're going to find the exact value again. So uh, erase everything and just uh, retype the word exact. All right, I'm going to give this a value of negative 70 for the offset. Give it a quick color and preview that. Okay, so it, it uh, gives us the value of 1. So if we go into the search, you'll see that column 2, row 1, has the value of 5. Now, we can go ahead and let me go back into the actor. And if we didn't want to find the value of 5, we wanted to find the value of 28. It's just a matter of quickly switching that out, and it'll give us the new row that that uh, value is in, which you can see is in row 2. So that's really, really helpful. Um, something else I did want to mention, I'm just going to delete that. We can turn all of these back on. Uh, you can also search for a game attribute. So you don't always have to type out your key. You can plug in an attribute. So if you didn't want to find the word food, let's say you wanted to find the value uh, GS helper. We would delete everything except the comma that separates the new sections and we would go game.gshelper.com. That's just a text attribute filled with the value gshelper.com. Uh, and so you don't have to put quotes around the attribute and that's very important. Don't do that uh, because you're searching an attribute value. And so if we put that on and we, we turn this on, you'll see that it's in row 4. GS Helper is in row 4 right here. You can see that. So that's how you use the table search function. I hope you guys have learned a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to get in contact or comment below. Uh, look forward to uh, part three, and hopefully I'll have that up soon. We'll be going over the uh, column and row number. That's a really cool function, so keep an eye out for part three. Thanks, guys. We'll see you in the next video.